my party We're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car It's really raining out today boss You think the mailman will come? Yeah well, you know what they say Rain, sleet, snow or hell Hawk to a boss, hawk to a It's here Excuse me? What did you say? Hawk Tua. I was watching an old German World War II movie and it means attention in German. Ah, uh, no. That's not what that means. It means... Ne never mind. What's in the boxes? Feels like more toy soldiers, boss. Well, that means that's more stuff for me and nothing for you. I hate my job. Well, once again, Idiot Joe is being an idiot, but let's go ahead and see what came in the mail today. Now, both of these boxes contain 132nd scale Toy Soldier items. This first one comes to us from Classic Toy Soldier. I'm not sure if I've uh, opened any boxes from them on uh, YouTube, but I will open that one up. And the second one comes from Mick Sean's Closet. Uh, Mr. Cook and Mrs. Cook, I've purchased from them before. You've seen other videos that I made with their items. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up and uh, show you what came in the mail. And this first box comes to us once again from CTS Classic Toy Soldier. I've been buying from them for years from Mr. James Goff. Um, and uh, he hooked me up with the French and Indian War flag that I ordered along with two colonial wagon drivers. One is blue and one is gray. And then finally the Civil War artillery battery set. This came with three cannons, a limber wagon, and two horses. And uh, again, I'd like to thank James for that. And he also threw in a little extra. It says free here. It says Alamo on it, but uh, they're just some wild horses with some, some calves. Again, it looks like old Mark's uh, reissue poses. So that could go with any era. So I'm gonna add that as well to this play set that I'm working on. But, uh, and you will see hopefully with this next box, what these wagon drivers are for. Now I ordered four items from Mick Sean's Closet. This first one up is from LOD. He does carry LOD, formerly Barzo items. This is called the three-piece vignette from Braddock's Last of the Mohicans. And I'm gonna open up each one of these and show you, but he's actually trapped under his horse with a Native American attacking him. Next up we have the LOD Americans Revolutionary and Colonial uh, Calvary starter set. We have a BMC slash CTS, Classic Toy Soldiers. He does carry both of theirs. Um, this is the cover wagon and horse set. So this is what I bought the two riders for. So I'm hoping they fit on top of those. I'm going to open that up and see. And then last up, we have a, another set of LOD. This is the Barzo British French and Indian War Infantry in red. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these so you can get a better look at them. And we're gonna be adding these to my Revolutionary War set. First up is the LOD Barzo um, Revolutionary War Cavalry. You get uh, two poses of each color. One is the British red, the other is the light blue, and they're Saddles are attached, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about gluing those. Fit on very nicely to the horses. I love these new horses they're using. Before, uh, I'm not sure if it was a Barzo horse or something, but these new LOD horses are nice. They're solid, they're heavy, they're not gonna fall over on you. They have a nice base. Four different colors on the horses, and you can change those up because uh, the uh, saddles aren't attached, which is nice. Now this is a cool little vignette from LOD. This is Braddock trapped under his shot horse, aiming his pistol up at this Native American. The Native American was attacking him and got shot. But if you remember that scene in uh, Last of the Mohicans, this is pretty cool. Again, Braddock caught under his horse, firing his last shot. Now this next set, Comes in seven poses in this bright red color. 
These are the British troops from the French and Indian War. Again, formerly Barzo, now LOD. And these came from McShawn's closet. Perfect match to the red color of the Braddock caught on their horse. So again, I'll be adding these either to the French and Indian War set or they could easily transfer over to the Revolutionary War. Um, and finally from BMC, but originally CTS, Classic Toy Soldier, I believe this was the mold and they took the mold. <laughs> From Marks back in the day, because you can see these accessories, these are exactly the way Marks made them back in the day. This is a four horse Pioneer wagon, and you get two of these in a set. And one has the uh, tarp down, covered over or rolled up, so you can see what's inside. But most importantly, what I'm hoping is these Revolutionary War figures sit nicely perfectly on the wagons and they do so that's really cool I like that that was what I was hoping for and these wagons um, if you remember back in the day if you collect toy soldiers and you used to buy from classic toy soldiers you'd get one of these wagons with a horse or two horses or four horses I can't remember no driver sometimes and they were running like $35 or something because um, I had bought a few of them back in the day now you get a set you know two of these eight horses now you don't get a driver but you get all the accessories and everything uh, for I think this was 24 25 dollars through BMC so uh, either BMC or any of the other uh, uh, places that carry BMC products will have this like I said I bought this from Mick Sean's closet so once again I'd like to thank Mick Sean's closet as well as uh, classic toy soldier James and hope you guys enjoyed this mail call. And I apologize for Idiot Joe. But, as always, thanks for watching. And keep on collecting.